What's up now? We got Jamie Foxx again, people. Jamie Foxx recovering from mystery illness in Chicago. Foxx has been at an undisclosed rehabilitation facility that specializes in treatments for strokes, spinal injuries, and traumatic brain injuries since April. Could he have experienced all three of these things, people? I'm just saying. All right. Now, that's coming from one news source. So, uh, another news channel says he is at the Shirley Ryan Ability Lab after recent health scare with security keeping a close watch. So, he's in Chicago, people, um, with security keeping a close watch. Now, so can Jamie speak or talk? That's, my, that, that's one of my questions, man. Let alone use all his func body functions. I'm saying, can, can the man talk? You know what I'm saying? Because... I had said that previously in one of my videos, you know, it's as if, you know, he hasn't said anything to the people. So I'm thinking he got the point to shake the head, you know, nod and everything about that. So I'm just like, what? So could the jab, the jab, people, could the jab have gave him this stroke? It's now, it's been said allegedly that that jab can give you some health complications. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 you know, being a celebrity, you got to get those jabs as far as, you know, being around people and this and that when it was going on like that. And then they was telling people, get another one. Then they was telling people, oh, you need to get a double booster shot and all this crazy shit. So, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So, he's supposed to be at the Shirley Ryan Ability Lab in Chicago, people, with the security keeping a close watch. Now, this is the number one rehab facility in the country. But the news source says they still don't know what he is being treated for. Could it be all three? You know what I'm saying? Uh, for a stroke, spinal injury, and traumatic brain injury? Because cause that kind of makes sense because, you know what I'm saying? Uh, now we finna, um, you know, because they say he was going in and out, in and out. And, you know, they had to bring him back. They say he actually died. So that means... The, the oxygen from your damn brain was gone. You know what I'm saying? It couldn't feed your brain. So, yeah. And, you know, having that stroke could possibly, you know, damage your back, your spinal cord. You know what I'm saying? You just never know. So, uh, yeah. And then, of course, the, the tra traumatic brain injury, because they say they had bleeding on the brain. People, this is getting more outrageous, all right? as I talk about it. So, yeah, we don't know what he's being treated for. So his, But we know it's one of them. You know what I'm saying? So his daughter posted that she and him will be hosting a second music game show on the network. This is a unscripted series for 2023 through 2024. And I'm thinking, damn, he was working on the movie. He was already doing Beat Shazam. And now he's going to be doing this show? When? Is that really going to be Jamie? You know what I'm saying? Now, the show is called We Are Family. So, I'm thinking, why did his daughter think it was a good idea to lie to the Jamie fans about him playing pickleball? Like, 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 lady, we're not a fan of you. We're a fan of your dad. Your so-called dad. You know what I'm saying? And you making jokes about some damn pickleball. That shit ain't funny. Then when people start saying this and that, you want to come out and say, oh, no, my dad been out for weeks. Well, why you ain't tell the people? All of this, all of these rumors, alleged rumors and things of that nature that are halfway true anyway. You know what I'm saying? In my eyes, allegedly right. So it's like, damn, why would you play and joke like he playing pickleball and shit? Like we wasn't gonna find out. Like, like we what like the people weren't gonna make y'all tell us what, what's really going on. Or some of what's really going on. You know what I'm saying? Like, quit playing, bro. Not he in Chicago and shit. Which only makes sense because that, that part kind of makes sense to me because they said in the beginning that that uh, he was going to be transferred to another another facility. So is that when they transferred him? Because they're they trying to say he'd been there since April or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's been there since April in Chicago. So you know what I mean? Like that kind of makes sense. But why lie and stuff? And it could have been, they could have been lying because, you know, it was already been said that somebody's trying to kill him. So she said. So let's keep going, people. Uh, yeah.
it. So that's why the security is uh keeping tabs on him. But they was going to do that anyway because of who he is. All right. So that's what I'm saying. She lied about him being discharged from the hospital when she said he was discharged and shit. So T.K. Kirkland. T.K. Kirkland says Jamie was in a coma for a week when he first got there. Yeah, now why would he lie? T.K. Kirkland. I don't know, but that's, that's what he said. He said Jamie was in a coma for a week when he first got there. So in his first week, he was in a damn coma. They, cause they, and that kind of makes sense, too, because they said he was going in and out, in and out. And then what they say, he actually died. And the doctor brought him back, right? And they was like, damn, you lucky to be alive, as if they were shocked that they got him back. Come on now. So was the man in the coma? So Kareem has just lost all respect about these lies in my eyes and making jokes about him playing pickleball. That's what I don't respect. Like, man, what the hell? We could care less about your ass. We want to know what's going on with Jamie Foxx. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's not to be all in his business. No, it's because we care about Jamie Foxx. We've been watching Jamie Foxx from day one. Shit, all the way back from In Living Color and shit of that nature. Like, don't play with us about no damn Jamie Foxx. Man, stop it. So, in, tw in 2018, Jamie had an interview and talked about his substance abuse. Now, he was talk also talking about a little bit about Kanye West in that interview. And this is the point I'm making because Jamie Foxx never, you know, even in 2018, he never had a problem with telling people about his life and things that were personal. So why would he do some shit like this today? You know what I'm saying? Like some people, you know, think like other ways, like, you know, Jamie probably don't want nobody all in his business. No, it ain't about that. I don't think, I think it's more to the story, people. I ain't. I feel like Jamie Foxx can't say shit. That's why he ain't saying shit. But if he could say something, you know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure he would let the people know that he's all right. He, he don't want to lose his fan base. All right? Come on. He's still a celebrity. He wouldn't want to lose his fan base. You know what I'm saying? He wants his fans that he care about to know. That, yeah, I'm all right, man. I'm, I'm getting better. You know what I'm saying? And that's how it always is with celebrities that's going through something. They don't have a problem with telling you certain shit. I mean, they don't have to tell you every damn thing, but at least tell us, tell the people something. He ain't saying shit. Right? But he out here playing pickleball. But you still saying pray for Jamie Foxx. For what? He playing pickleball. I thought he was cool. Now we find out, oh, he at the Chicago uh, Re Rehabilitation Center. The number one in the country. Dealing with brain, traumatic brain injuries, uh, spinal cord injuries, and strokes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What about that shit? So, yeah, people, what y'all think about this new news and shit? Um, I feel like, uh, see, they had to bring the people something because, the you know, the people are in an outrage. And they know something ain't right. You know, it's too many people that's so-called woke out here uh, as far as what's going on. You know what I'm saying? We ask some questions now. Like, uh-uh. What's going on? Because, see, shit like this be happening too damn much. And then all of a sudden, y'all going to pull this shit on Jamie Foxx. Oh, yeah, I thought wasn't nobody going to care about Jamie Foxx. Oh, so so now you got another thing coming. Because now you see people care about Jamie Foxx, and they want to know what the hell going on with Jamie Foxx. You know what I'm saying? We ain't seen the man. We ain't heard from the man. So we know damn well he didn't he didn't uh, post that post. Okay? And, and if you uh, in a coma... You know, you going in and out, in and out, and I'm pretty sure that then he slipped into a coma, per se, and then they bring him back. Shit. You got all type of shit going on with you, all right? You got all type of shit going on with your ass once you really come to, you know? It's just the principle, people. It's always the principle about any situation in life. You know, you don't go lying to the people. You know what I'm saying? Because some people out here was feeling like, man... If this is a publicity stunt, da, da, this and that, I'm not going to be a fan of Jamie no more. You know, shit of that nature. So you crashing his name down by lying. He wouldn't approve of no shit like that for you to be lying, making jokes, talking about the man playing pickleball. Huh? That's doggone me crazy. Now, now, why she did that? Now, I can give her the benefit of the doubt of why maybe she did all this type of stuff. Because maybe it is somebody trying to harm Jamie. 
and they didn't want to they didn't want anybody to know you know this and that that was going on i get it i get it well then don't say nothing you see what i'm saying it would have been better to not say a damn thing because see that shit makes it worse when you saying this and that and people are like hold on that can't be true right because it don't sound right and it's showing the hell don't look right why because we don't see jamie so hell no don't shit look right and don't shit sound right till we see god dog on me jamie fox message